Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Reviews, the number one supercar channel on the internet. And today you join us parked up at Three Trees Farmhouse. We've got our friends 355. Regular viewers of the channel will recognize this 355 Spider. And we've also got a 360 Spider with us today. And we'll be driving up in convoy to Podium Place and you'll join us en route. Join us en route to Podium Place. We're going down some nice B roads, so we've chosen this particular nice driving route to get to Podium Place, so it should be quite an interesting drive. We've got the 355 Spider in front, and we've got the 360 Spider behind us, so we're, we're in the middle, so we should be able to get some good, some good um, footage as well for you guys. <laughs> couldn't overpower that bloody 355 with its Capristo exhaust through the tunnel there. I don't think there's mu anything much louder than that Capristo exhaust on that 355. <laughs> just in the business park area now we've just turned down into the road to the business park area where podium place is situated um, and we're just driving towards podium place now it's quite a bizarre area it's all like a business complex slope slash sort of some personal houses as well so when you see it on camera because you see it in an isolated um, format on camera you don't see the surrounding area so this is the business park that uh, is a sociable to Podium Place, or where, or where Podium Place is, is located. And in the, the day, Podium Place is a business. It is a car sales showroom, and it has other businesses as well now. It has PPF capabilities and paint correction, so detailing and PPF. So we've now arrived at Podium Place. You can see we're parked up here. We've got my 458 Spider here. We've got the 360 Spider and we've got the 355 Spider here parked at the back of Podium Place. But it's actually very, very busy here today. We've got a hell of a turnout from the Porsche community. So we're gonna take you around and show you some of the cars that are in the car park. So all this area is Podium Place parking and actually they've got an extended area behind there as well, which they can use. It says no entry, but you can park around the back there for Podium Place too. And this is why it's such a great place for car meets. People might recognise this model of car, it's a 993 Carrera 2. I used to have a 993 Carrera 2S. Absolutely love these cars. Beautiful. So it's a midnight blue exterior with a marble grey interior. Lovely specification. Absolutely love the 993. I love the whole air-cooled range of, of Porsches. Not too keen on the modern ones, on the later ones. Apart from the, apart from the GT3 Touring. Love the GT3 Tourings, you know. A lot of people recognise some of these other 911s here. We've seen the one with the boost number plate before at the Classic Motor Hub. 924 here. Loads of 911s. We're just coming forward here to the, to the front of Podium Place. 964, loads of Caymans along here as well. The 964 Resto Mod. Give him GTS, Turbo S. This is the 991 Turbo S. You can see the width of the difference in the cars. If you look at that 964 in comparison, it's gone a lot wider. And this is about the widest model type on, with the 911 Turbo S, the widest model type that you can get on the, um, on the Porsche 911 range. Can I prove we've got some 912s up here as well? And the lovely blue 912 here. It's obviously been in Europe because it's got the continental colors on the, on the lights, unless it's a Continental car, it is a Continental car, I just noticed it's left-hand drive. 
Got some cool stickers on the back as well, Monte Carlo Rally, etc. You can see the volume of people that are here today. Great turnout. And this is a bit of a recce for the Drivers' Union because the Drivers' Union are going to have a meet here, we're going to have an arranged meet here soon. Um, so we're doing a bit of a recce and some discussions with the owners of Podium Place just to sort out and organise the Drivers' Union meet that will be going forward. So a lot of you will recognise that we were here previously at the Podium Place, but there was nowhere near this sort of turnout. It was very quiet when we were here before. Um, the weather brings out the, the, the cars and brings out the people, clearly. Also, um, when, you, when you get your coffee, obviously it's predominantly a coffee place and a car showroom. Uh, when you get your coffees, they provide you snacks behind the counter, but you, they also have a barbecue option as well. So they've got, they brought out the barbecue and they're going to do some proper cooked food for, for the clientele here. So we're in Podium Place now. As you can see, this is a car showroom. So you have cars distributed along the length in it of the inside of Podium Place. And here, just look, we're just going to walk you through some of the cars that are here, some of the special cars. Here we actually have an Aston Martin V12 Vantage. Only 333 of these cars were ever made. God knows why Aston Martin didn't make this a standard production run, because this would have helped them perceivably with their financial issues that they have at the moment. But this is a stunning car. Circa 300 grand base spec. But as I say, there's only 333 of these that are, have ever been made but absolutely stunning, beautiful car. And I believe this was previously reviewed by Sam from Seen Through Glass, this actual car. So we're at the back of Podium Place now, I'm just gonna talk you through some of the cars that we've got here. On the far right hand side, to me anyway, or your, to your left, we've got the Aston Martin GT8, next to the GT8, we've got a Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. And to the left of me, we've got a Ferrari California, an original Ferrari California. And to the left of that, we've got a 675 LT McLaren. podium place we're just traveling on now to find a, a nice little country pub to have some lunch whether it be normal Sunday lunch or whether it be just normal burger fare but um, I think um, the, the lead cars got a, an idea of where we go and but there's some beautiful villages around here and we've already passed on the way in some great pubs so hopefully we've got a nice place that we'll find to have a bit of Sunday lunch just trying to get this aircon working full blast you just got to play around with it to try and get it to do what you want it to do. I've switched it on manual and I've put the fan on full speed and then now it is actually pumping out at full speed, full fan speed, air conditioned air, so really cold air. But the trouble is with these vents, they look super, super cool, but you can't, I've got it set to the furthest right and the furthest down point and it still is pushing to the left of me, it isn't pushing at me. And the same with here, it's, it's just pushing to this way. Bloody Italians, they, <laughs> they don't design aircon systems very well, do they? So you can't get, even though it's pushing out, I can feel the cool air just about, but it, it doesn't direct it at you. You can't actually get the fins to point at you. Crazy Italian design. But cool in its quirkiness, I guess. on our way back now the other guys have gone their separate ways to go home
So we're going to close out the video now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, then please, guys, think about subscribing. Very important to our channel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.